Now, we as we see Jin being turned into mist by Callum's ma I mean powers, but Kin, I mean, Kilth actually wanted to save her brother, but Laura's <coughs> Aether Gear is specific to cards, can actually change the abilities of numbers and control them. But her real powers is to change the attributes. Let's just say that she can use the elements of the cards for her battles. For instance, she used lightning cards on <clears throat> Kim, which we knew how Jin is trying to stop the powers from turning him into mist. But he actually learned from Laguna about Emperor Ether, which the ability to actually alters his opponent's conditions. But it's not actually rare in the Owl Cosmos. But many users of the Aether Gears from the same Cosmos has the power. For example, his Tears lo Lover actually has the ability to alter his opponents. For saying that he actually allows people to cry, which actually because of force of will which he actually used that to turn people into water in which the ether gears for general actually increase their powers or other words e powers but all can reduce the opponent's ability which for example he actually make weiss's cry but in return, he actually returned the the flow of ether to his normal state to nullify the powers, in which that could actually be useful when they actually knew that it's not that easy. For which he actually told them that they first need to know about themselves, in which Jin actually knew who he is which he is the eldest son of the Rufer Ford family a wealthy member of course who was kidnapped by Dr. Muller and turned into a android but he was actually saved by Draken then he was actually trying to find a cure for Ken who actually was doing all the dirty work for the fake sister then he actually made people of Eden Zero so now we knew how he knew who he is it's kind of like finding their inner power in which he actually knew that what he actually have and because of that he actually earned the new power to actually help him defeat Kelm which he actually normalized his ether so he using his sky mage Nijitsu style palm of gale Miss actually Kelm using his mist blade but it actually rejected. So we knew how much that he remembered since he's improved himself. And then he actually knew how he trained himself to one day he'll <clears throat> cure Kin, which we see how he owned Draken. But he actually told him that he still will beat him but we see how he actually remembers what Shiki actually told him. But now we get to see what's going to happen with Kin when she actually have a Ether Overdrive in which they've actually knew that they both decided to protect their home which they actually using their attacks to defeat their opponents which 
<clears throat> we see Jin using Wind God Ripper, then Kill using his variable Cyclone on their opponents, which they've easily have defeated them, which they actually have gotten the Ether Gears, which they actually have an upgrade version of their outfits so we actually see how amazing they actually look even though they actually have the same wind base ether gears and so we actually see how they actually look amazing by the way which we see that another member of Shura's group have actually seen what actually happened and he actually say that they are useless that is which we seen Shiki's group have made it towards the building where Rich is actually held up so we knew how they are going to save sister but the real moment belongs to Jin and Kill who actually unlock their ether gear overdrive so they use that to defeat Kim and Laura so we're gonna see what's gonna happen on the next chapter next weekend so anyway like this video subscribe for more and comment what we think about the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Anime Guy Drain here saying signing out. Laters and be safe.